Maybe I already did. Let's see. All right, two things I need to say uh, real quick. It's JJ. Um, I think the Panthers should hire the Lions offensive coordinator as their future head coach. Just get an offensive mind in. I think he's the best one available. We can't pass up on the next Mike McDaniels or Kevin O'Connor or someone like that. He don't um, even know his name. Who, who, what was next? Um, I'm sorry. Give me a second. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, t- it's time we, 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 we cut the BS. Stop playing with Trevor Lawrence. He's a franchise quarterback. 300 oh yards, God. three touchdowns, <clears throat> and a rushing touchdown. Cherry picking one game. Blowing out the division leading Titans in Tennessee. Quit playing oh. with that man. Franchise oh quarterback. It's not oh outrageous God. to trade JC. Terrence Marshall from that draft class for Trevor Lawrence. Oh my God! So yeah, oh, yes. I think I think that's well spoken. <laughs> also, I think this is a big game to show who Steve Wilkes is. Road game, <laughs> zero road wins this season. Three and four as a head coach, coming off of a bye. I've been excited for this game all, all, all two weeks, should I say? And yeah, keep pounding Panthers. Let's get a win today. I called before the game, so oh uh, hopefully things go good. I like that. Like that. Like well, that. I, I like that. Good, CK. That's Get him. I was gonna say, I, I, I know the urge is in this NFL to fight and go out there and try to get an offensive-minded head coach. We've been trained that way for five years or more because of Sean McVay, right? Um, and now you have Mike McDaniel's and and whatnot. But in in all honesty, a lot of these guys don't work out. But I also think you need to understand the NFL is cyclical. Okay, and why I say that we've talked about it before. Why I say the NFL is cyclical is is these are trends. So they go with the athletic quarterback, and then they go with the pocket passer, and then they do X, Y, or Z, and then they go back around, and it's just this cycle, right? We're I I firmly believe we're on the verge of going the other way with defensive minded head head coaches. Um, I think that when you have this many offensive minded head coaches in the in the NFL, that it's you need to have that counter punch. Right. And I think Steve Wilkes is a perfect example of that. And I think that he can be good when he's able to build this team up even more so than he's got now uh, with a full off off season of putting in his own vision of what this team should be. Um, I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. Do I am, am I not even saying it's a surefire thing? No, but there is not a single head coach that's been hired in the past 10 years that has ever been a surefire thing. Sean McVay was a risk when they hired him. Uh, Mike McDaniel is a risk. You know, even though they're doing really good right now, that was not a surefire thing with them. Um, So I don't, I'm, I'm, I understand the urge to do that because everybody is doing that. I think we need to go the opposite way if we want to find success in the future. Because right now, I think that some of these guys going offensive minded are going to be uh, hurting in the next five or ten years. Look. I just want to like that's a great point to add on to the call there, but I just want to ask about this call. Like, are you really telling me you would have traded Terrence Marshall Jr., J.C. Horn, all the players who drafted the year for Trevor Lawrence <laughs> yes. for a guy for a guy who's five and eight this year? And since we're cherry picking games, since everybody wants to talk about ter- Trevor Lawrence when he has a great game, how about we cherry pick the last game, not the not the one he played today, the last game where he had 179 yards, 54 percent completions, and one touchdown? Okay, let's cherry pick those games. This guy averages what a little bit slightly better than what Sam Darnold did today. They're playing in a division that is almost as bad as the NFC South, and they have the same record as the Carolina Panthers. Let's stop acting like this guy is the next coming of the best quarterback ever. I'm not you saying he's bad. He, he is, he is no, I do not. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I want a man playing quarterback. A no, week, look, man, I'm just telling you, Trevor Lawrence is not the next coming of God in Whatever. the NFL, Whatever. You're, you're completely like, like, disregarding. You, you, completely you will disregarding. take a 15 yard out okay, pass. I'm, I'm, I'm in no, no, you know, y'all I'm will take a 15 yard out pass by Trevor Lawrence. That is a routine pass that I can make. With you nobody covering really? it and say it's the oh, best. Oh, you're not making ever. not a one it. of those yeah, stones. What, dude? Gosh. Now you're off the rails, dude. Oh, my God. Off I'm the not. rails. Mom, go I'm to go bed. Pick five guys we in the street and film me, film me on, on, my on, mother on the field is in the for chat. 20 yards. Cramping I think my style. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's let play devil's advocate here. I think it's okay to say that the body of work Trevor Lawrence has put out there has been more than disappointing, right? However, 
the game that he had today was incredible. It was good. I'll give you that. All I'm saying is he is not like the next thing so far. There are plenty of quarterbacks sure. that have played as many games as him that have played way better than he has. I'm not saying he's not the future. He's not going to be a good quarterback in the future. But you know what? Cody, I put the bet out there. I'm going to know you in 15 years. I guarantee you right now, $100. Trevor yes. Lawrence never, never plays in or accept. wins a Super Bowl. Never Dude, plays in no, or wins a Super Bowl. I don't care about this. Come on, $100. we're changing the topic. We're changing the topic. Number one is this. Uh, Mom, if you're Trevor still in the chat, you still owe <laughs> Kevin KG seven threes his uh, Beavis and Butthead shirt that you threw out that he left at the house because you thought it was like satanic or something like his uh, my mom was like oh it says bad this is in the 90s so kev has been my boy since back in the day <laughs> kev she still <laughs> owes you a t-shirt that you left at her house i was like where that t-shirt is like i threw it out i was like good god uh <laughs> second um we can't talk about the lions offensive coordinator if you don't know his dang name and by the way his name is douche daily that's it. So, like, let's not be like, oh, we're going to try to hire him if you don't even know his name. Let's go to the next call. Tony Cody CK and the Bat Daddy Boy Toy. How about that offensive line today? Brady Christensen, Bradley Bozeman, they just dominated in the middle there. Let but I tell you, want to ask you guys, how come the Seattle Seahawks aren't stopping the run? They put their safeties back. They're doing a cover two defense when the Panthers have wide receivers and tight ends who usually can't get open. What the hell's up with the Seattle Seahawks? Anyway, a good win. Gentlemen, keep up the good work. Bye-bye. Appreciate you. Don't fight Appreciate back, you. Mom. Don't fight back. It was not <laughs> Kev's. And I think you also threw away his Black Sabbath shirt, too. Like, I think there was a double shirt throwaway. My mom does not like uh, magic. And uh, heavy metal and uh, Beavis and Butthead, clearly. Hey, uh, CK, the yeah. combination of Tony and Greg have lowered my collective IQ a little bit today. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time reading. Can you read this for me? Because I don't know what it says, dude. Uh, it says Spencer Rattler is greater than Trevor Lawrence. It doesn't have the line underneath, so it's not Love less, it. less than or greater than or or equal to it is uh, full on greater than Trevor Lawrence with a 199 love bomb by white chocolate espresso. I like it. Wow. I mean, I don't agree, but you know, Hey, I do what I'm told. <laughs> he wanted, he wanted Cody to read that. So that's what happened. Dude. Uh, yeah. That's what happens when everybody's named Cody on the podcast. Next call. <laughs> hey, Go Panthers! Uh, hey. Everybody, everybody, G baby owes everybody a hundred dollars. <laughs> we C Wilkes is the next came in his permanent head go to the Carolina Panthers, and fuck all the haters, including <laughs> some of you so-called Panther fans. Man, um. Love it. Yeah. I love, love when Pickle energy. gets excited. I have an idea about the, <laughs> the G baby thing. I have an idea, but we have to agree to it collectively, all the people who bet him, so that we can have a G baby that's actually rooting for the Panthers. Can we tell him that we won't make him pay the one hundred dollars to each of the each of you if the Panthers win the division? No, oh, you mean like you gotta give him a double down bet? No, not a double bet down, but saying, hey, listen. Uh, we're going to be generous. If the Panthers win the division, you won't have to pay us the hundred dollars. Like not that well, he's going to get anything. In gonna, I feel like the Chad's ready to collect his money, right? Now. They are, but <laughs> they're the like, a lie. Is, they're like at the is, bank. Is, on a people bank are in the chat calls coming for if, his head, dude. If G baby, <laughs> they're giving their G, chat for cash. Hey, now. listen, <laughs> Tony, if, if it meant you were saving $600, would you change your opinion on Brian Burns? Uh, no, because you know, well, yes, oh. no, because but look, Cody last year owes me like nine thousand dollars. No, I don't. You can't even back that <laughs> up. No, I don't, dude. All right, night eighty bucks totally. I owe you like. Oh, nothing. you know what? You totally owe me the one on. Uh, what was it? Uh, was what? it Shy uh, Greg or was it Terrace Marshall? The six hundred dollars, six hundred yards, and somebody called in and even joked on him. Yeah. Remember the guy, the yeah, caller that bombed that. you? 
freaking cat callers, man. But dude, you know what? I, I still stand by. But in, in a couple of years, it's not even going to be a question. Shy Smith is way better than Demir Bird. Oh mm-hmm. shit! What's up? All right, now he just wants to extend the podcast till tomorrow. Next goal. <laughs> Like that's just a way to make this podcast go interminably long. Next goal. I mean, dude, this is just better. You know? Hey guys, it's the growl that makes them howl, aka Joey the Blind Panther. Oh my god, dude, what a keep pounding win! Like this is Let's this go. is literally keep pound. I mean, that's literally what we did. We kept pounding the Seattle Seahawks with our run game. Knowing that they can't stop shit, and doesn't it feel good to be <laughs> to not be the ones that everybody knows can't stop shit? And uh, our offensive line, man, oh my god, are they good? This this is the real deal, dude. And and you know what's great about these wins under Steve Wilkes? The only win that was not confidence inspiring was Week Three against the Saints. With, with uh, you, with, you know who with the helm. That was the only one. All the other wins that we've had, the wins that we've had against, uh, uh, the ones that we've had against Tampa, the ones that we had, the one that we had against Atlanta, what we did against Denver, uh, what we just did today, dude. We looked awesome. We looked great. We look, we look like we deserve to win. And we did. Yes. And I know, I know <laughs> that uh, and some people are going to say, cause you know how people are, they're going to find ways to complain, you know. Uh, and speaking of complaining, hey, G, baby, what does your bitch ass have to say about J.C. Horn now? Oh, shit. Or did you watch the game? Uh, but I know people are going to say, oh, all we did was run the ball. All we did was give the Deontay Foreman for most of the time. Yeah, we gave to Deontay Foreman a lot because they couldn't stop it. Good Lord. And you know what I have to say to that? What does that matter? We fucking won. We knew what we had to do to win, <laughs> and we did it, and we won. And, uh, yeah. And, yes, I know DJ Moore wasn't that involved today. He actually did get used in the run game, which I thought that was pretty interesting. I mean, I never thought of DJ Moore – as being used in the run game. We used to do it with Samuel, but not DJ Moore, but yeah, dude. And, and when I think of this win, you know what I think about? That song, that two and a half men song, men, 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 manly men, men, men. That was a manly win, dude. Yep. Oh, God, that felt so good. And to beat Seattle in Seattle. Anyway, guys. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Uh, great call. Been a great show tonight. Uh, Greg, uh, chef's kiss, by the way, for the image in the uh, the um, private chat that we got. You're making fun of Trevor Lawrence. Love that. Second, mom. Oh, my God. Pull back on the Italian chat. My mom in here like the godfather up in here. <laughs> She's like, you all show me the respect I deserve. <laughs> I need to. Uh, I need to talk about uh, something that I just table. saw. But I'm saying this, Mom. Okay. You got to remember, this is a show. We're not trying to hash out the family business, but so much. Of course, I yeah. love you. Of course, I respect you. But she's like, come to the altar of the look. So Italian, most Italian <laughs> jar ever. It's like, hey, you don't show me the respect I deserve in this moment. <laughs> uh i born i bred you i raised you come on mom it's a show we gotta have some fun we gotta have some fun I, uh, it's not about this i love you i love you moms it's love just you. boys it's being show. boys miss dunn that's all so basically i wanted to talk about something i just saw in the dolphins chargers game by the way the chargers have been absolutely dominating the dolphins the Dolphins got a, a, a pass interference call that went their way that was absolutely bogus it shouldn't have been a pass interference call but They also just got a play that made them the luckiest freaking team I've ever met in my life. They had a situation where they they had uh, ran the ball. The running back fumbled the the ball. It went into a pile of people, and everybody on the Chargers defense was like, all right, well, we can't change. It's literally in this pile. All of a sudden, Did the pops, Dolphins pick it up and run with the, it. The, the Dolph, the ball pops out of the out of the pile into Tyreek Hill's hands. 
and he just runs 70 yards for a touchdown. What game? Wasn't there a college game that this happened last week? Wherever It was the Georgia game a couple of weeks ago where the people were just like, oh, game over. They blocked the kick, and then they just – everybody just looking around. So the, hmm. what's the score? Give us the score because – It's 7 to 10. The Chargers are beating them. The Chargers should – this should not be anywhere close. The Chargers have absolutely decimated – the, the Dolphins, they've made Tua look absolutely average at best. Wow. Um, and uh, and then my that happens. That. My Who, who's there. made him look average at best? The Obviously Chargers. Obviously, Justin Herbert. The Chargers. Their yeah. defense. Sorry, I had to go after Cody on that. Oh, so what Herbert, so Herbert's been good, actually. All right, let's go to the next call. C3, what a, a lot of calls go. We're excited. What? Well, why'd you stop? What bro? happened? I didn't stop it. They were awesome on both sides of the ball. Restart it. He's done. He's breaking up. Game ball. Oh, okay. That ball right, played sorry, a Sorry, bro. I mean, I, um, that was not on me. <laughs> that was a breakup. Next call. All right. Breaking up with you. This is G. I got another thing to say. Oh, G, baby. Man, thank God Sam Darnold had a fucking run game today. Jesus fucking Christ. All 20. As soon as we start having these games where we can't run the ball, we're fucking done. If it was for us being able to somewhat run the ball, Chuba and fucking Deontay Foreman both having 75 yards rushing, but then we only pat, bro. Don't know how we got so many yards rushing. Oh my God. <laughs> this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a big fucking problem when we run into a team that can actually stop the run. All these weak ass, sorry ass Panthers fans want us to go to the fucking playoffs. Let's go win the division. As soon as we run into that first fucking team, the very first set, it doesn't matter. All the teams in the fucking playoffs can stop the run. So as soon as we get into the fucking playoffs, we're going to run into a team that can stop the run, and then we get our asses fucking kicked. But we go to the fucking playoffs for team morale. This shit just doesn't make sense. But this is what you fucking Panther fans want. <laughs> the Texans oh, yeah, I want to win. I, I, I want to be a competitive team. Things, man. Yeah, and, 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 and you know who the fuck this is? Oh, hold on! I got, I, I, I got a. Is coming after me. I, Joey is a fucking blind pass. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I to address war. you, bro. But like they're at the end of the war. day, I don't want to be that stereotypical angry nigga. <laughs> but I can't have you continuously call no. me a bitch because then I have to fucking defend my name, bro. You fucking can walk around that entire Bank of America and not see, but you can't ever bring your ass on the free for all. Say that shit to my motherfucking face. Uh, mm. Shake my head, Joey. I'm going to keep it at that. Like I said, I don't want to be this stereotypical angry nigga. <laughs> Why you got to say it like that, G? <laughs> so funny, because Joe does come hard out the paint, man. On the... <laughs> yeah, but G-Baby went. But, you know, G-Baby, G-Baby brings, went it. G-Baby brings it, too. Like, he invites that. Yeah, he and that's why everybody wants that. their money. CK, that's why I don't think they're going to go for your uh, sure. uh, your, uh, your extendo bet. Uh, I, I just want to see 808 call. I, you need know, more, I need a more digits than that. I need the last four, homie. I'm looking for your call like crazy. I don't see it. Uh, I just... I just want G baby to be happy for this team. That's all. I just want, that's why I thought that I was an option because I want him to root for this team and be happy when we get a win and not just. Bro, we're feel- making G baby uh, gear soon. It's going to be, we're going to have coffee mugs that have G baby tears on it. <laughs> that's what I uh, want. I think this is going to be the greatest seller to people that really listen to the show. <laughs> G Baby Tears coffee mug, I think would be great. Uh, 252-228-5098. I need the last four, homie. I don't see it. Here it is. Yeah, right. Third Panther Nation, we took that dub. We got a road win. It's JJ. Uh, by the way, I just want to mention, uh, I'm more of a Midwest fan because <laughs> I live over in, by Louisville, Kentucky. I just want to shout out so since, since I'm technically not from the home of Charlotte. But we got that dub today. Don't matter. We went in their house. Fuck the 12. Fuck the Seahawks. Fuck everything they do. I hate the Seahawks. I hate them just as much as I hate the Broncos. And they're up there with the Saints and Falcons, honestly. Those are the four teams I hate the most. But I felt like our team was going to come out, do what they do, be gutsy, uh, dominate the line of scrimmage. And we had a chance to win this game. And we did. We dominated. 
we ate. Um, Sam Darnold didn't make the mistakes. It says DJ did absolutely nothing, but it's okay. We still got that dub. Um, yeah, and it's time we stop hating on Chuba Hubbard because he, he, he's oh, a dog, all right? Um, keep telling him let's go. You better put some respect on Chuba Your Hubbard's boss, name, put damn no it. no respect on that dude's name. Put some there, respect man. on Chuba oh, Hubbard's wow. name. What does this man have to do? Yards. Yeah, let's what does this man down. have to do for y'all to get over a few drops that he had early in his career? <laughs> a Let career this man drops, live. Buddy. Go Let ahead. this man career. live. It's been a career of drops, bro. It's like oh, 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 what, a two-year career. Bro. It's this, been a career this, this, of drops. All right, dude. dude okay, well, maybe we should stop throwing fumbles. him the football and let him run through the tackles. All right. Like he has clearly yeah. shown the ability to stop. do. Stop with your bad Put some taste. Let's go. Let's go, dude. <laughs> hey. Here, JD probably put some the best respect. Show. Respect, giving them more respect. Yo, C three. It's JD eight six four. Um, it's six minutes twenty eight seconds left in the game as I make this phone call, and um, I'm gonna need everybody. I'm gonna need if you watch football, if you know what football is, I'm gonna need you to put some respect on JC Horn's name. JC out there, Shuba Hubbard, I was stunning, killing this call. DK Metcalf. You feel me? We got to shut down corner in that man. Motherfucking University of South Carolina, fucking cornerback university. I put some respect on Horn's name. G baby, you want to trade the man? That's what a shutdown corner look like. I'm going to need y'all to come with that same energy. Hey, we need to trade Burns. We, we ain't trade. Ain't no tank in here. I right? ain't no tank in here. All right, here's I'm going to need y'all to come. Let's go. Here's part two. Let's go. Kill C3, JD, AC4. <laughs> Again, uh, Games a few seconds away from being over, but I had to call in and uh, somebody get in contact with with Burns and tell him to do up downs until I get tired because that offside that free play that they had was because he was walking his ass up to the line of scrimmage. I love Burns, but I need somebody to get in contact with him. Tell him Justin Young said do up downs until I get tired because that's some bullshit, man. You're a goddamn superstar. You know you don't do that shit. But hey. We got the dog.